Hello everyone, my name is Jian Xingli from the University of Tokyo. Today I'm going to present our work entitled as Multi-Res GNET, Approximating Nonlinear Deformation via Multi-Resolution Graphs. In animation productions such as video game, virtual reality, and film, it is great important for animators to achieve the high quality of character deformation with complex appearance. In this work, our goal is to explore an integrated deformation system which can directly result in complicated deformations for new animated characters by learning from the available artist designed skinny features. And this process is end-to-end -end, that directly predict offset adjustment in each post step without the need of manual work. Most related work for deforming characters can be roughly classified into several groups. For geometry-based deformation, two well-known methods, LBS and DQS, are widely adopted in real-time applications. However, they also suffer from the undesirable volume loose and joint bulging artifacts. These artifacts need to be further manually fixed by highly skilled animators and the time-consuming process have to be repeated while deforming new characters. In contrast, physics-based method can achieve the convincing deformation effects by formulating the deformation process within a simulation framework. On the other hand, once the deformation parameters are specified, it is difficult to control the resulting shape of character in each animation frame. Furthermore, the physics-based deformation is computationally expensive and usually avoided in interactive applications. Learning-based deformation methods try to learn the surface deformations as a function of designed parameters. Most common methods use MLP to predict deformation. Despite the realism of the result, a common underlying limitation is the inability to generalize to new meshes. Once the network is trained, it is only applicable to the specific object. Recently, several attempts address this generalization problem by training graph neural network that they regard meshes as graphs. However, due to the complexity and significant number of features, their graph learning-based solutions can only deal with one post deformation or fixed scaling weights which are not changed along with poses. On the other hand, the training is dependent on a large set of training samples. In our work, we would like to explore a graph learning-based method in order to address the above-mentioned problems. We adopt the idea of regarding deformations as a combination of rough linear and nonlinear parts. The mesh of the animated character is first roughly deformed by the linear-based method. The resulting deformations have visible errors and we then use a network to produce the nonlinear corrections. Specifically, for the process of the multi-res GNET, the rough deformed meshes are first parameterized with graphs which are then input into the network. The network contains two branches for respectively handling global and local information. We use the various characters with different customizations in random poses for training and make the network possible for building the intricate relations. The trained network directly output the corrective displacement of per vertex for the final nonlinear deformations. And our research focuses on two aspects encoding mesh features and designing the graph neural networks. After deforming meshes with linear blend skinning method, rough deformed meshes could be obtained. Next, we encode these deformed meshes by constructing graphs and take them as the input for the graph neural networks. The graph stores features of vertices and edges. Here, V denotes the set of vertices. E represents the edges, and the adjacency matrix U indicates whether there is an edge between pairs of nodes. To make graph nodes informative and discriminative among diverse meshes with different geometries and different transformations, 
it requires to assign attributes to each node. While most relative studies utilize the vertex position as one of node features when expressing the deformation, we found that their approximated results are heavily affected by the amount of character translations. For example, this representation will result in graph with different spatial positions but with the same pose corresponding to the same output deformations, which will greatly increase the requirements for the number of poses in training. To this end, we propose our relative skin features to concisely express deformations in different poses independent of spatial position. Specifically, the transformation of the pose is encoded with pose vector theta, which is defined by axis angle of rotation of joint. Next, this axis angle for every joint can be transformed through a rotation matrix using the Rodriguez formula. And then we can get gs theta as the corresponding rotation matrix. Finally, to reflect the influence of boom movement on each mesh node, we combine the rotation matrix, linear skinning weight, and the reciprocal position to form the final relative skinning feature descriptor Ri theta. And this Ri theta is spatial invariant. In addition to relative skinning features, we also assign attributes of vertex normals and the distance between vertex to joints to the graph node. In this way, the graph feature representation has the expressive power of rough deformations that can capture the skin features across different joint transformations, the whole range of surface features of different shapes, and the bending relations between joints and meshes. Next, the features of each node are transformed through a nonlinear feature transformation module. The module consists of a linear layers followed by nonlinear activation and normalization. We verify the effectiveness of our proposed graph features that we compare the result between common position features and our newly proposed relative skinning features. The graphs containing these two different features were respectively input into the same network and follow the same training setting. We used the inverted pose for testing and its position is not at the origin. Because of the translation invariance of ours, the local predicted offsets remain unchanged even though the global position changes significantly. The approximated deformation with our features is more natural than with position features, especially in the areas of knees, wrist, and inner thighs. After mesh encoding, the next step is inputting features to the network. There are some challenges for training models to realize this approximation. First, the mesh geometry is arbitrary, and its features are complicated. So how to deal with this data? and how to map it to the nonlinear offsets. Next, some vanilla graph-based network tend to overfit this relationship. So how to solve the overfitting problem? Also, large-scale character datasets are normally required for training to learn such automatic generalization tasks. Can we reduce the number of training samples while still making accurate predictions? Regarding the challenges above, we propose our multi-res GNET with better generalization ability that can summarize global features and extract the local detail features from existing training samples. Our local branch uses several densely connected GAT blocks to deal with local features. In each GAT block, we adopt the same structure as mentioned in the work of dense GATs which consists of an aggregation stream and a self-reinforced stream for dealing with complicated detail features. The graph attention-based aggregation stream is used for computing the hidden representation of each node by aggregating neighboring features with different weights. The self-reinforced stream is for increasing feature multiscale expression that linearly maps the individual features of each node. 
In this way, the GAT block can effectively compile information on complex graph features from neighboring vertices as well as information on cell features. In total, there are four GAT blocks with dense connection pattern in the local branch of our network. In addition to the local branch, we propose the global branch to globally summarize all the node feature representations and therefore improve the generalization. Specifically, we define the graph pooling and outpooling strategies. For graph pooling, we present an edge contraction operation which follows the attention mechanism to calculate the edge scores. First, we compute the edge scores of each pair of nodes. Then, we sort all these scores. Finally, edges with highest scores are contracted. Interactively, we implement edge contraction on the overall mesh. Edges with highest scores are contracted, and the nodes that belong to the contracted edges are ignored for other edge contractions. Through this process, the total number of nodes will become n star that roughly equals to 50% of the original n. For the inverse of pooling, we also perform the corresponding and pooling operation. To restore the graph to its original structure, nodes are given the mapping of location information from the pooling layer. And after this step, the number of nodes will be restored from n star to n. Thanks to the multi-resolution processing, more general features can be extracted and summarized, thereby realizing better generalization and performance. And this is the overall structure of our proposed method. After the graph construction of encoding mesh features via graph G, we then map it to per vertex displacement with our multi-res G net. The two branch strategy enables the network to learn the surface of mesh graphs in a multi-resolution way and can accurately make the approximations. To evaluate our proposed method, we train the network with 75 characters with different customizations and animate each of them with 250 poses. Then, we test the trained network by using 10 characters with random motion sequences. To demonstrate the generalization ability of our network to poses, we evaluate the, a character in training set and animate it with a new motion of playing golf. We compare the result of rough deformation, LBS, DQS, and our method. Since the skinning weights are automatically generated without modification, rough linear-based deformation has the significant artifacts. The deformation of LBS and DQS have improved this problem to a certain extent due to the manual refinement, but the visible volume loose and joint bulging still exist. Virally, the approximation with our method can nicely mimic the desired elbow bending behavior around the joint and give the best deformation effect than other method. Next, we show the result of generalization to new subject, and the test character model is a new subject that its mesh geometries are completely different from characters in training set. Refinement are achieved especially in the areas of under the arm and where the pants and the belly are in contact. The overall deformation is successfully predicted using our method with better performance than rough deformation. We also provide a comparison with other learning-based methods with different network structures and different number of training samples. We animate the test character with the jumping jack motion. Through our method, really plausible effect can be automatically achieved that errors of mesh vertex deviations are also within a small range. Thanks to the representative graph features and multi-resolution graph operation, our method enables easier generalization to new characters with new poses based on the knowledge which is learned from the existing deformations. 
since dense JTs and our approach both approximated deformations by estimating the nonlinear residuals based on rough deformations. Next, we will apply the SMPL data to conduct further comparison. We demonstrate the generalization ability to new SMPL character bodies. Since this task is not complicated, both two methods have achieved satisfactory results with a very low average error. In contrast, our approach generated more natural deformations in the areas of both of the thigh and in the chest near the upper arm that is clapped. Furthermore, with the SMPL data, we also demonstrate the generalization ability to the new character body and poses. As seen in the demo, a male character is deforming the front kicking motion, and the deformation results of dense JTs tend to generate large approximation errors in the region near joints. In contrast, our proposed method could make full use of pre-feature knowledge and outperforms dense JTs for unseen cases. To conclude our work, we have presented a multi rest net that leverages existing well-designed scheme features of characters to accurately predict deformations for new characters. The size of the train network is small and the runtime is fast. Our approximation is an end-to-end -end process that can directly predict each vertex deviation in each post step. The proposed network has better generalization ability and solves the limitation of requiring large-scale dataset in previous work. There are also few limitations and potential improvements that could be addressed as future work. First, the learned network is relevant to the sighting of rough deformation. When generating the nonlinear deformation for new character, the sighting of rough deformation should be modified to keep it consistent with the training data. Second, the training samples we used mostly uh, follow the body closely for extremely loose clothing and other garments types like skirts. The deformation would largely depend on the diversity of training samples. In the future, we would like to increase the diversity of garments and add situations where characters fit differently with garments in training samples, and then verify the effectiveness of our method. Finally, we currently focus on the deformation for humanoid characters, which have the same standard skeleton, and the dimension of input graph features is dependent on the number of skeletal joints. In the future, further research can be explored to deal with characters with various number of joints. Thank you for your attention.